On entry and exit, this house is my home, grasping the door handles ever so chrome, granted access by the keys on my belt loop. I cross the threshold and begin to regroup. As I walk through these connecting halls, my guidance is found in these walls, always reminding that the feeling of blues should only be in the touch of the painted hues. The surfaces embossed and wallpapered, rendering sunlight gradually tapered. From dawn till dusk, the window converts the east to west motion into reverse. Tipping and towing across the floorboards, breaking silence into forms of rhythmic chords and channeling the sounds somewhat eerie, but focusing the vibrations ever so clearly. Accompanied by photographed members of family, the present memories are held in great clarity, reminding us of the treasured past and capturing their energies forever to last. Styled with coving and dado set in relief, framing the time and space of belief, the various hangings subjected in faith, listening to the preacher ever sound and so safe. In this space of transition, the mirror leads with the reflection of our choices and deeds, handing us opportunities to make a decision as the path of our future is built with precision. Often understood as the house headquarters, where we accommodate guests like hotel porters. Armed with two doors, this hub becomes a passage and the connection of two directions finds a point of vantage. Supported by white doors with brushed handles, the surface tops occasionally scattered with granules. From the preparation of the last eaten meal and acceptingly wiped once the hunger is set to heal. Mornings find testament in the sound of worshipped words, whilst the window graces us sight of the feeding birds. Breakfast is garnished by the presence of plants petal, and gently boiled with the frequent intoning of the kettle. Sat in place on chairs with legs symmetrically curved, eager for the meal in sight to be served, for hands on our stomach and a sense of light rumble, as loved ones surround us, we simply can't grumble. Discovering through conversation pockets of attitude, but approaching our plates with a sharing of gratitude. After years of the lonely pandemic isolations, this gathering space is a reminder of social restoration. Where please may I leave the table was instilled, and the glasses of ornaments are never to be spilled, contained behind casements of a dark wooden cabinet, protecting old crockery for respectful and compassionate. For the five-sided bay overlooks the residential horizon, the botanical nets support the axe of a peeping wise man. In his place lays a sofa, all round and white leather, collecting the curved space with a comforting tether. The remnants of a once open fire is now a sign of longevity, and its prominence simply aids the spatial complexity, forging alcoves in which vast books are inhabiting and a pendulum clock retired from ticking and tocking. In the room that is bound as nearest a square is revealing, outlined with the four by five grid fixed on the ceiling, encircled by furniture, embodied with round surfaces, they contrast the rigid space but cause no disturbances. 
populated by a planted and peaceful community, the green individuals are tenderly gifted with humidity, silently emitting this water back into clean air. This tiled trading market is naturally so calm and so fair. Placing the glass apertures in situ for never aligning, if relevant is the matter, by the light they're combining. In between rests a clock, perfect for twitchers, with the replacement of numbers into bird pictures. Here is the place where I can find serenity, my clothes in the cupboard and embrace my identity. Mirrors face one another like a space extending portal of which the time realm beyond is completely immortal. Above the wardrobe and under the bed lay the things that support the memories in my head. From the door on its hinges and the drawer on its sliders I welcome the company of those cornering spiders. Organised and tidy, my space always in function, but the wandering whilst working really limits production. Questioned by the intentions of this sanctuary of rest, the balance of its uses clearly need to be addressed. Evergreen is that of the carpet, steppingly punished. Climbing walls are patterns of wood grain, painted but not polished. The northwestern lumens maintain the day ever polite. In the avoidance of blinding, the curtains never say good night. <laughs>